Hi, I'm Craig Wilson from Avid. So let's have a look at how we can find media in the system. And you can do this in a variety of ways. You can either navigate through your Interplay folder structure or you can search. And let's take a look at how we can do both of these things. So in my Media Central UX uh, here, I have the launch panel, and that shows me the databases I've got access to. So here, for example, I can see I've got access to an Interplay production system, the one called Avid WG, and I've also here got access to an iNews uh, newsroom system as well. But depending on your workflow, you might just see one or both or either of these uh, different databases. So if I want to open up the Interplay database, I could just double click on it. And that will then open up a folder and it will show you the directory tree within your Interplay production system. Now again, depending on your permissions, you might see more or fewer than the folders that are here. I actually see quite a lot here. But what I can do now is I can either click on the little triangle next to, to my folders and that's going to open up the entire folder structure for me. If I scroll down here, I've got lots and lots of folders because I'm logged in as an administrator. Likely you see less folders than this. But I've got a folder here called video and I want to take a look at what's inside that video folder. So this time, if I double click on the folder itself, it actually takes me into the folder and I can see there's a subfolder here called media. Let's open that up because that's where I want to work. And then inside it, I've got another folder called Vietnam Rushes. And there inside the folder are all of my clips. And of course, if I want to look at the clips here, I can simply select the clip and drag it into the media viewer and that will load the clip. Or alternatively, I can simply double click on this clip itself and it will uh, launch into the player as well. Now you might see some different types of icons here as well. Now all of these clips that I'm looking at are master clips. These are unedited rushes. But you might also see icons for sequences, also for audio files and subclips as well. If you're not sure what things are, just check with the other guys in the production team. They'll be able to, to help you out. So that's looking at navigating through the folder tree to find clips. But what if I want to search across the database? Can I do that as well? Well, of course, in Media Central UX, you can do that. So from the panes menu, I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up a search panel. So I click on the search panel here and it opens up. And it's opened up here in the middle. Of course, I can move that around, you know, if I wanted to position it somewhere else in the screen itself. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a search and I'm also going to show you some of the different criteria that you can add to make your, your search pretty specific. So I want to search for some of these clips here. So there's a clip called map. So I can just type in the word map and I could just run a search and that would run across the entire Interplay database for all sort of dates and times. But if you look here, I also have another button called add criteria. And this is where I could go in and be much more specific um, about the search that I want to look for. So for example, I could select type and I could select to come in and just search, for example, for master clips. I just want to look for rushes. Equally, I could go in and I could select to add a folder to the criteria. And then I could select any folder in my Interplay production database that I want to access. So you can go in and make the, the search really as detailed um, as you want. But I'm just going to type in the word map and search for a master clip. And then click on the little search icon. It runs the search and it will find me every clip that I've got in the system that's got the word map in it. If I want to view it, simply double click and it will launch the clip into the media viewer.